This is your weekly T-Minus Now briefing, where we break down the biggest moves in space, tech, and the frontier future unfolding right now. And welcome back, space fans. Let's kick off this episode of your weekly space briefing with a twist from the steppes of Kazakhstan. On November 27th, Russia's Soyuz MS-28 successfully launched to the ISS, carrying two cosmonauts and an American. But in a shocking mishap, the blast scorched and structurally damaged Pad 31 at Baikonur Cosmodrome, the Russians' only operational crewed launch site. Debris and fire warped the service tower, sidelining it indefinitely and delaying the next Progress cargo ship resupply originally slated for December. December. Roscosmos calls it a minor incident, but experts warn it exposes aging infrastructure and vulnerabilities. Russia's space program already strained now scrambles for workarounds. Could this accelerate their pivot to Vostochny? A stark reminder, even routine launches carry high stakes. In shifting to sunnier skies, SpaceX just got the green light to bring Starship to Florida's Cape Canaveral. The Air Force approved redevelopment of Launch Complex 37 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. With construction already underway for 76 annual launches. This mega pad will handle super heavy boosters, complementing Texas tests and easing Boca Chica bottlenecks. Meanwhile, at Kennedy's LC-39A, the orbital launch mount was installed on November 5th. Progress is rocketing. Elon Musk envisions Florida as Starship's East Coast hub, slashing turnaround times and boosting U.S. launch cadence. Private space just notched a win with vast spaces Haven 1, paving the way for commercial orbits. Their Haven demo mission testing station tech launched November 2nd on SpaceX's Bandwagon 4 and nailed all objectives, from pressure tests to load simulations. It's the first step toward Haven 1's full 2026 debut, a single module station for a crew of four, expandable for research and tourism. This baby's designed for rapid iteration. Vast aims for Haven 2 as a mega hub by 2028. The era of leased private real estate in space, it's docking soon. Global rivalry heats up with Landspace over China. Landspace is charging into the reusable race. On December 3rd, their Ju-23 Methalox rocket aced its maiden orbital flight from Chiquan, lofting a test payload into space. A first for a fully reusable Chinese vehicle. The upper stage nailed separation, but the booster's landing, a fiery flop, exploding on touchdown. Still, this positions Landspace as Beijing's SpaceX Challenger, eyeing 20-plus launches yearly by 2027. Global competition just got a methane fuel boost, a reminder that competition forces us to do our best. And that concludes this briefing. Follow for future transmissions. Stay sharp, stay curious. Commander Cooper, out.